Turmeric, that's the stuff in a curry, right? Yep, that's what it is, but it also has medicinal qualities too. In fact, it's so good that we even stock it in our clinics and I even take it and it has a great effects on me all around. So what does it do? Well, it's all about curcumin, which is the basic ingredient inside of turmeric, which has the medicinal quality. So the main thing that we're interested in in physio is mainly the anti-inflammatory component, but it also has lots of other effects as well. And we're going to discuss all of this in this video with regards to some research that was done on curcumin or curcumin containing products, obviously turmeric therefore. So how good is turmeric or curcumin for recovery from exercise? So here is a systematic review which looked at curcumin containing products such as turmeric and they were looking at the various effects that are recovery from exercise. So they looked at exercise induced muscle damage, they looked at inflammatory markers, they looked at oxidative markers. The review was from 11 studies which ranged from being good, very good or even excellent. So what did they find? So the doses that were on the studies was between 150 milligrams up to 1,500 milligrams of curcumin. The participants had either taken it before, during or after within a 72 hour window after the exercise. And these kind of components were found to be effective for this. They found that it reduced the intensity of muscle soreness post-exercise. Exercise induced muscle damage was reduced and this was seen with lower creatine kinase levels. It also lowered post-exercise inflammation, which was seen with lower cytokines, and it was shown to have a slight antioxidant effect. So it looks for sport and recovery for performance reasons that curcumin containing products such as turmeric can be very useful for performance reasons in a sport. However, there is something to be said about this. We do know that if you're looking to just simply develop hypertrophy of muscle, building muscle, but not necessarily performance and strength and all of that side, then it may have a slight dampening effect on the muscle building quality. And the reason is some of these elements, the inflammatory markers, for example, um, are actually shown to trigger and stimulate muscle growth and therefore actually dampening these down may actually slow this down or diminish this effect, obviously by a small marginal effect, but nonetheless, still some effect. So this is where turmeric may be extraordinarily useful for performance reasons in a sport, in an athlete. But if you're a bodybuilder who's looking to build muscle, maybe you've got to kind of offset that balance. It depends, I suppose, because for example, if you're looking to train with high volume, high frequency, um, then you may find that you'll feel really sore after training. You might struggle to train well the next session. Therefore, obviously using something like turmeric or curcumin, may actually reduce that muscle soreness and enable you to train really well the next session. And that really good training session far outweighs the tiny dampening effect of muscle stimulus. Um, so this may well be a bit of a non-entity and it may well still be beneficial even in people looking just to simply build muscle. But in terms of performance, in terms of muscle damage, in terms of all the good stuff uh, with regards to performance and training, it looks like it's a very viable um, supplement and certainly I've used it and find that it helps with joint niggles and irritations from training. And also through my job, I use my hands a lot, my thumbs could get sore and so on. And it does do a very good job for this. Patients uh, get it from us a lot as well, and it's really effective for them. Some people swear by it, think it's incredible. And obviously everyone is different, of course. It depends on how they respond to it, like anything, uh, how much inflammation base the problem they've got has, and therefore it will differ in each individual case. But it's certainly not, that an, not, not an expensive uh, supplement, and it's obviously completely natural and therefore very, very viable. And we've done videos on this with other studies showing its effect as well in comparison to actually anti-inflammatory drugs. So we do know already there is some good evidence out there and this is more evidence to support another angle uh, to do with turmeric. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.